welcome to Wait a Sun. I am Michelle, and this is Richard, and this is a medicine patch from the Dollar Tree. It is a Greenbrier product. It's the Extra Strength Hot and Cold Pain Relief Medicated Patch, and it is right there. It just it has a resealable package. There we go. <laughs> ah. And there's two of them in there. There's so. two of them. Yep. Um, they're kind of menthol they're mint they're very that's the cool that's where you get yeah. the cooling from is the, the menthol eucalyptus side of it yes um i do feel a little bit of heat i will say when you first pull them out and i know this but most people don't like this word they're moist <clears throat> it is already dried out like it's dry oh yeah and it's been 10 minutes if that um i don't know if it's supposed to stay not dry <laughs> Because I know most people hate that word. Um, but as far as pain relief goes, the throbbing isn't like when I first put this on, it was my shoulder was throbbing pretty good. Thank you, baby. And it's not throbbing like it was, but I think it's also as soon as I take this off and I'm not feeling that sting from the cooling, the menthol. I'll start feeling that throb again. So I don't think that it's necessarily helping to eliminate the throb because, you know, when you take pain meds, those dilate blood vessels and they take down swelling and that's how the pain decreases. I think this just masks it so much that you don't feel it so much. Does that so, make sense? Yes. Even, even though it's dry now, is it still working? Yes. Okay. Very much still feel the menthol. I don't, I don't feel heat so much as I feel stinging and I I'm kind of afraid and I'm I'm doing this so you guys can see it and when we take it off I'm gonna he'll he'll do it while we're on camera I'm afraid my skin underneath is because I have sensitive skin that's another thing I do tend to have rather sensitive skin I'm kind of afraid my skin is getting irritated and I'm frank because that's the kind of pain that it, that I'm that burn that I'm feeling that sting yeah. is like from being irritated by, like I'm kind of ready for you to take it off because the more I keep talking about it now, the more it's like starting to irritate. Um, if can you get the corner? There he goes. Okay, I just didn't want to tear it off thinking it might. So it doesn't hurt to pull off. No, it's it, not red yet. It's not yet. leaving a other than the. It does leave a little bit like a residue. There's like a sticky residue to oh, it. Oh, I can still smell it. Oh yeah, it's still. I'm definitely glad we took it off though because it's still it, very sticky. It, you should put it, you got an elbow or something that's kind of achy. You want My whole body it? aches. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen his face. He was like, my whole body aches. <laughs> Stupid question, wife. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, he, he's getting out of the vehicle. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What do you want, babe? Where do you want it? You got it? I got it. it we... Right there. Okay, right in the middle? Yeah. Right there? Down, down, right there. Right there? Oh, it's, that's still wet. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the underside was still damp and sticky feeling. That's going to rub on your belt, so just be warned. Okay, hold on. Turn around. Turn around. Lift your shirt. So that's where he put it. Okay, so. Uh, sorry, I have my phone plugged into a battery pack. So I'm anxious to see how you feel about it. I'm glad that it's off my shoulder, to be honest with you. Other than it, it being was, wet, I don't feel anything. It took a minute. It okay. took a minute. and then But once it started really tingling, it just kind of increased and increased and increased. And I don't increased know if it's increased. the fact that I know it's there or whether it's really doing something, but I can kind of feel a warm spot there. Mm hmm And but, then it'll start tingling with that menthol. Okay. I said maybe it's just because... But, but, I will say, even now that it's off, the achiness hasn't returned the way I thought it would. No, oh, well, then it's a good product. And it's, so it did its job. I mean, I really thought my, my achy. So basically we either say go or no go. I say go. I wouldn't rely on it for like a four hour, five hour pain relief. But if you're needing something, and this says you can apply it three to four times daily. I'm kind of curious to see if it lasts more than, because it was only on there for, like I said, about 10 to 12 minutes by the time we took it off. Um, 
So I'm curious if it's going to last like a half hour or an hour. But I mean, the aching, like for real, the achiness is not like it was when I first put the well, patch on. Then that's so a go. that's that's good. That's a go. Even if it's just to you, even if it does only last a half hour, it'll last long enough for you to take medicine and have the medicine kick in. Does that make sense? Like take ibuprofen yes. or Tylenol or whatever. I see what you're saying. So I would not put it on <laughs> like, oh baby, like a raw, like if you've got um, raw skin from whatever reason, or if you've had surgery and you've got um, a wound, I would not put it over that kind of thing. It doesn't warn you on here to not do that. It does warn you that if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you shouldn't use it. Um, it's a, really that's it. So there, I guess. Have you guys ever used these? Let me know if you have. Um, I think at two for a dollar, and we're, we're using it twice. I think that's a good deal. Now I don't think you could like take it off and store it for any length of time and reuse it, but like to take it off and then put it right back on somebody else or another spot. And the stickiness is not there now, so that's that's good. Yeah, I would be really irritated if it kept some kind of stickiness on me. Yeah, I left like a residue. Yeah. Yeah. 